This week, scientists in the United States and Mexico announced the complete genetic sequence or genome of the corn plant. Corn, or maize as it is known by scientists and much of the world, is the most important crop in the Americas and accounts for $47 billion in revenue in the U.S. alone. According to Rob Martinson of Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, the multi-million dollar effort was the culmination of a century of intense genetic research. Maize, of course, is well known uh, by the general public because of its uh, use as food uh, and actually as feed as well uh, for animal feed and so on. So it has huge agricultural value. But actually, that's not the only reason the sequence of the maize genome. Uh, maize has been a very important model uh, in genetics uh, for more than a century now and is actually used by some of the earliest pioneers of genetics at the beginning of the 20th century to discover the rules uh, around heredity, uh, the fact that genes mapped to chromosomes was first discovered in maize. Uh, and so it's very exciting now to see the maize genome uh, come to fruition with, with all of that uh, wonderful, rich uh, history of knowledge uh, behind it. Over a four-year period, researchers at Washington University in St. Louis, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory in New York, the Arizona Genomics Institute, and Iowa State University dissected the corn genome into millions of pieces, determined the genetic sequence of each piece, then reassembled them into the 10 chromosomes of maize. Richard Wilson of Washington University Genome Center explains the challenge of assembling the maize genome, which has thousands more genes than the human genome and contains vast regions of repetitive DNA. The maize genome is about 80% repetitive. So imagine, if you will, a large jigsaw puzzle cut into a thousand pieces, and it's a picture of a boat uh, on a blue water on a beautiful cloudless day. So you've got a lot of blue there, right? And it's hard to figure out if this piece goes next to this piece or someplace entirely different. And so that's kind of how the, the genome is to put together. So we've had to come up with some methods that would allow us to simplify that problem so that we know that we're just coming from uh, one corner of the jigsaw puzzle, if you will, and that, that, that's helped out a lot. It is believed corn was domesticated in Mexico about 10,000 years ago. So, in a larger sense, the maize genome sequence is the end point of thousands of years of agricultural breeding by Mesoamerican farmers. Luis Herrera Estrella of the Mexican National Laboratory of Genomics for Biodiversity explains the cultural and scientific importance of the maize genome to Mexico. Well, maize is probably the most important crop in Mexico. If you go back to the Indian culture, the, the, the Mayas believed that men was made out of maize. And since then, maize has taken an integral part of the development of Mexico, culturally, in terms of religion, economically, and also uh, is, is a major component of the Mexican diet. So we consider that it was uh, an, an absolute requirement of Mexico to participate in the sequences of, of the maize genome. And that we could select a, a maize genotype that was uh, ancient and it could be used also to compare with other sequencing projects that were done in, in, in the U.S. While the U.S. team sequenced a modern variety of corn called B73, the Mexican team worked with an ancient variety called Palomero, which is used for popcorn. Palomero has much less repetitive DNA than B73, which simplified sequencing. Jean-Philippe Bielcanzada of the National Laboratory of Genomics talks about Palomero and how comparing the two genomes provides new insight into the domestication of corn. The B73 is an inbred line that is uh very much used as a parental line in many varieties that are grown in the Midwest, in the U.S. The ability to sequence that genome uh, offers tremendous opportunities for conducting what we call genomic comparisons. What we did was basically to try to identify genomic regions that were fully conserved between Palomero and B73. From an evolutionary point of view, those regions are interesting because they're candidates to represent segments that were very early selected in maize evolution. What is very interesting from more study in Palomero is that the domestication genes we found encode for genes that confer heavy metal tolerance. 
And these are hard to associate with morphological changes. The question is why genes that confer heavy metal tolerance would have been selected so early on in maize domestication. We believe it might be linked to volcanic activity. The side-by-side -side publication of two maize genomes by groups in the United States and Mexico highlights centuries of collaboration between farmers and geneticists that have made corn the most important crop in the New World. The comparison of these two sequences may help scientists understand the key events that shape this uniquely American plant.